Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Honey Corso. Sitting here with cashmere. We're out in the back and I wanted to um, take some time to talk to you guys about cashmere. I had some questions about what she was like when she was a puppy and so um, you know her earlier basically stories of when she was young and whatnot so figured I would give you guys her history uh, she is a she's got American and Italian lines um, I went and picked her up from the state of Washington and she was raised indoors with um, with her siblings and another large uh, mastiff. And um, when we went and picked her up, her mother was uh, very protective of her. She um, wouldn't let the other dog play with her. And she would um, growl every single time that we either picked her up or tried to pick her up. And um, she really did not like being handled. And um, I just kind of laughed because I knew, like, you know, that that wasn't going to last. Um, you know, because we, we, you can nip that stuff in the butt pretty quick. If you're if you if you deal with it swiftly and how we deal with that is we place the puppies on their back and um, hold them there they'll squirm and squirm but we just hold them there until they stop and um, and so that's how we deal with it if they get um, if they get loud or whatever if they try to growl if they continue to try to get aggressive then you know I'll literally like growl back at them <laughs> like the mama would like you know I don't I don't put myself above trying to communicate on the same level as them um, so and it, it I've never seen it go worse than that and then I do a very strong steady um, intense stare to the face so it's so it's a uh, the same thing that um, the mama dog would do and um, we were laughing we were saying that we needed to make bracelets for people the um wwcd what would cashmere do <laughs> because anytime i think to what kind of disciplinary action that i need to make i always go off of what my alpha dogs do so you know uh, cashmere is not going to put up with that you know cashmere especially depending upon the dog but anybody who's seen her correct velocity knows how she goes in and it's a very strong direct stare we also call that fixation and um, you know the, the hairs come up bristles come up and it's just a very and then there's a growl there's a low steady growl and so um, you know I don't, I don't I'm not above I'm putting myself on their level and <clears throat> using um, the same behavioral communications that my dog does. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and it works. So that's what we did with her. And she was over it. She's fine. And um, she would still give us, like, ugly face. Like, she would, we call stank face. <laughs> she would still do that. Um, she had a little attitude for a while. Even my sister was like, she looked at her and she's like, ooh, she's had an attitude. And I was like, yeah, she does. But sure enough, she eventually got over it. She got over herself. She's a little princess. And, um, you know, I think she's just probably a little on the spoiled side when we got her. But, um, but anyway, she's fine. And as far as, like, stories about her, I mean, I will say that she did have food aggression. But she didn't have the, um, the, the aggression over, like, getting out of people's spots or things like that. You know what I mean? Um, she wasn't as dominant about her space like Preacher was. And, um, but she did, like, I'll give you an example. When we would go to the dog park, um, come here. 
when we'd go to the dog park, she would, um, come on, she would kind of hide behind me. She wasn't, um, she wasn't overly fearful. She wasn't like blondie, but she was definitely not as confident as Midnight. And I do think that that has a lot to do with why she can get such an attitude at the dog park. Because as most people know, um, usually when you see aggression, um, outward aggression, it's honestly a lot of it has to do with insecurity. Um, a really confident male won't usually feel the need to assert himself unless another male that is comparable to him comes around. And even then, once again, we're still dealing with insecurity, right? Because he's insecure that he's not the biggest man in town anymore, so he feels the need to go over there and make a point. <clears throat> so, so she, um, so she's a little on the insecure side, but I do what I always do, which is if my puppy tries to hide behind me, I walk away and I force them to have to deal with the situation on their own. Kashmir, come. I forgot that I told her to come. I need to follow through with my command. Let's go, hustle. Come on. Um, and so, uh, so anyway, so I would force her to have to get over it on her own by making her um, just deal with it by walking away and not giving her something to hide behind. I wouldn't pet her when she was like that either. Really important that you not do that. And so, um, and so now she's not, um, she won't go after dogs. She's not, you know, she's not like that. The problem with her is that if a dog comes up to her and tries to dominate her, then she will flat out put that dog on its back quicker than it, it even realized what hit it. Like by the time that, like she knows what they're up to. So by the time that they even come up to her with that wrong energy, she doesn't even wait for them to square up. She literally flips them, um, puts them on the ground and holds them there. And of course I have to run over and get her because that's not appropriate, it's not okay. It doesn't matter whether or not the other dog started it or not, I still have to be responsible for the way that she acts because if, as you've seen with Preacher, he's not like that. He will not react. And that's because he's more confident than she is. Even though she's the alpha, that doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can still have some insecurity there. So, so because of her insecurity, she's more reactive and I have to watch her. And if I'm standing right next to her, then she won't act like that. But if, if she's, you know, farther away in the dog park than, and another dog comes up starting some crap with her, then she's more inclined to put them on their back. Now, having said that, she's never bit a dog, um, never even tried to. Um, you know, there's been a couple times where even Preacher had to engage a dog because it just wouldn't stop attacking him. It's happened actually more than once. Um, and in the case that a dog will not stop attacking him where he can't just walk away like he did with the pit bull in the video yesterday or a day before yesterday, he will, um, he'll literally grab the dog, he'll kind of roll him up in a ball and hold him with his front paws. And Kashmir will do the same thing um, whenever, whenever she gets in that kind of situation. But the thing is, is that she, her tolerance level is a lot less than his is. So even though I appreciate the fact that she's not hurting the dog and she is honestly teaching a lesson and really just being a good dog. I mean, it, and I mean that in the way that she, for her to not attack is a good thing. You know what I mean? There are dogs that will attack. And, um, and so for her not to, that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, and so I have to at least give her kudos for that. Um, and she really is just teaching the dog the appropriate way to behave and teaching him that he can't act that way. But it's not politically correct, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, um, it, it just, yes, those other people should control their dog. Yes, they should train it to where it's not walking up and being disrespectful. But the problem is most people can't tell that that is aggression or that it's disrespectful. I mean, all you have to do is, is, um, you know, go look at, go look at, um, commentary on, I mean, you can't look at mine because <laughs> I go through and I delete the crap because I have a very low tolerance for it. But, you know, go look at somebody else's video on YouTube of somebody saying their dog was accosted by a pit bull. And I guarantee you, you'll see a bunch of people saying that it wasn't aggressive and it was just trying to play and, you know, and they just don't know what they're talking about. Um, they really don't. They can't read body language and they don't, they just don't know it. And so they interpret um, aggressive behavior that has not ended up in conflict as non-aggressive behavior, strictly on the basis that it hasn't 
uh, erupted into conflict at that one particular moment in time. They, they completely ignore the fact that you can look at other videos of there actually being fights and of those dogs exhibiting the exact same behaviors, but they can't put two and two together. So, um, you know, so that's, so that, so that's the difference. And, and that's why I say that, you know, that <clears throat> Kashmir not attacking is a good thing. You know, even though I don't like her behaving the way she does, um, you know, in those situations where she acts like that, um, you know, it's, she's not necessarily a bad dog either. She's, she's reacting to another dog being disrespectful and she's not, she's really not going overboard either. But once again, I still can't let her do it. So, um, so I monitor her, I watch her behavior, try to make sure that she's not, you know, doing that kind of stuff because it's really important that she not, um, and so, uh, so anyway, so other than that, um, as far as behavioral, she's not, um, she's not a very, she's always been really people friendly, um, except for at the house. She's not very, she's very protective. So, you, so, but when we're out and stuff, like you can see her wagging her tail, there's people that are walking on the trail. And I actually positioned myself here because she has a tendency to want to, um, walk up to people. So, because I don't want her doing that. And she knows that you see her wagging her tail at me. Shh, ah, ah. Sit down. Okay, good girl. Stay. So, um, stay. Stay. Good girl. Um, ah, good girl. There's a good girl. <laughs> yes, you're a good girl. Anyway, so she's always, ah, ah no. Shh, sit down now. She tried to use that as an opportunity to walk up to those people. Ever the manipulator. Stay. <clears throat> so anyway, she, um, people friendly, not very, uh, not very cool with, um, ah, ah, shh, go back right now. Shh, 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 go back, Kashmir, go back. Shh, down, down, stay. Um, so anyway, not, not the best dog for the dog park. Especially for just the average person. I can do it with her, but I'm always watching her. I'm always having to ride her like the wind. Um, it's really common in, in really dominant females. It really doesn't even matter the breed sometimes. So, um, so that's her behavior. That's how she's been training very hard. Um, she's um, the kind of dog that isn't outwardly, like like she won't challenge you. Uh, in a aggressive way or anything, she just ignores you, or then we'll get really kind of. She'll try to get like overly submissive, like try to weasel her way out would be a good way of describing it. Um, where she will try to like be submissive or whatever, like you know, it's a manipulation. She doesn't want to do what she's told, and um, and so she's been. She's you know she's tough. She's smart. She's a manipulator. She's a lot of work. Um, but, you know, that's just, that's just how she is. Um, you know, she doesn't, uh, I wouldn't say that she has a mastiffy temperament. That's not what I would say. She's not like Preacher in that regard. And some, you know, I've heard about some female kind of courses being like that. So, you know, I guess that's just the way it is. I've also known a lot of people that have had dogs like that. She's not much of a cuddler. Um, not very affectionate. She will come over and let you scratch her butt, but she's not like Preacher, where Preacher, like, loves you, loves you. Like, he just, he adores, um, the people that he loves, and he's very affectionate, and, uh, loves to snuggle, and, you know, Cashmere just doesn't. <laughs> so, the, in fact, the only time she's affectionate is when she's pregnant. She'll actually cuddle when she's pregnant. She'll lay right on top of you. Like, her whole body, she'll just lay on top of you, and she grunts a lot. It's pretty funny. But, um... But she's not a she's not a very affectionate girl, um, as far as the typical like really snuggly kind of corso temperament. She doesn't have that. So, um, but she does protect the house. She's good at that. She's tough, and she's just you know she's a different girl. So, I hope that answers y'all's questions. If you think of anything else, let me know in the comment section below. 
And, um, yep, hope that helps understand our girl Kashmir a little bit more. So y'all have a good day, and we'll talk at you later. Bye. Say bye, Kashmir. Say bye. Say bye. Good girl.